My name is Jamie Serafi and I'm the founder and creative director of Cool Choir in Calgary. Calgary's largest adult rock and pop community choir and non-auditioned and we welcome anybody of all ages to come together and sing regularly. Today I'm very excited to be introducing one of my fantastic choir members, Kathy Kundinani, who is going to be talking about not just her own experiences of live music, but her experiences of how being part of Cool Choir had a profoundly positive impact on her life. I hope you enjoy it. Hi everybody, my name is Kathy Kundinani. I'm 70 years old and I joined Cool Choir when I was 68. <laughs> So um, I had retired from nursing at that point. And um, anyways, um, just to go back a bit in my life, I have sang all my life. And from the time I was very small, my mother was a singer and my father was a singer. So we used to do a lot of singing around the organ. And that, um, I found that very joyful and very uplifting. And I went to Notre Dame College in Wilcox Saskatchewan when I was um, 12 years old. And I joined their choir when I was in high school and absolutely loved it. Like it's so uplifting to sing and it's so much joy to sing with people. And it's just for me, it's always taken me away, lifted me up. And I just feel fantastic when I'm singing. So, uh, and then onwards, I did a lot of nursing and so on and didn't really sing a lot except for by myself. I've always sang and danced at home to my music and just been able to really belt it out. And then in my older years, in my 60s mainly, I joined a band. And um, yeah, and when I was 68, I joined the beautiful Cool Choir. And the first night that I was there and met Jamie, I got hypertension, <laughs> I was so excited. I knew I had done instinctively the right thing. And, um, you know, my life has always been about music um, and it's about song and it's about being with people singing and just feeling that vibe. And when I hit cool choir, I went alto and I'm so happy I did because at first I thought I was going to be soprano, but I really enjoyed the harmony of singing. And now when I sing to my own music, I'm doing alto. So thank you, Jamie, for teaching me alto. And I've always been told that I've ha I have a good voice. You have a great voice. But honestly, I did not know how to learn to sing with my voice until I met Jamie Sarafi. And he has been the most wonderful musical teacher that I've had, truly. That's the truth. I love him dearly. He's so much fun. He really knows how to teach music. He's a beautiful musician himself. He has a wonderful voice. And he doesn't think he can do high soprano, but let me tell you, he gets up there. <laughs> and low, low bass, he can go, he's got a huge range. And he's very, very funny. And, you know, I'll tell you right now, he's very honest. He will tell you the truth, always. And when he takes you through a song, you learn that song and you love that song. There's never been a song that I did not like that I've learned through Jamie. And it's just such a good time, people. I mean, truly it is. You get to meet all your friends for two hours, three times a week, if you like, for a very minimal fee for 10 weeks. And you have three sessions throughout the three 10 week, week sessions, correct, Jamie, throughout the year. So, and we have wonderful parties, by the way. We have Halloween. We have such a good time at Halloween. And Jamie's always the best costume. <laughs> and because he's the director, he can't win anything. <laughs> so honestly, um, it's, a, it's a wonderful thing. Do a taste test and you'll be sold like I was. I was so excited my first time. 
so excited that I kind of got hypertensive. <laughs> oh, there you go. So I hope you join. Just give it a whirl. You won't regret it. It's so much fun. It was fabulous. And I know that you've had some health concerns in the last recent years as mm -hmm. well. And um, mm -hmm. I know that music has played an important part in helping he um, heal through that. Is that right? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Like, I still have discs. I, don't, I listen to discs. <laughs> and I always put on my favorite discs when I'm driving, when I go camping, when I do all that stuff, I've got my disc, disc thing with me. And, you know, it's gotten me through and kept me positive and it brings me joy. And my experience with cancer and having, um, having chemo was really, really, really good because, I mean, of course I had my down days and all that that goes with chemo. If any of you have that, you know what it's like. But music just uplifted me. I would just go, oh, get out, out, out of that rabbit hole and sing something. You can still sing. <laughs> you know, so singing is my life. Music is my life, honestly. I absolutely can't say it any other way. And it was very much enhanced by being with Jamie Sarasi in Cool Quiet. This is a song by Skeeter Davis and it's called The End of the World. Why does the sun go on shining? Why does the sea rush to shore? Don't they know it's the end of the world? Cause you don't love me anymore. Why does the birds go on singing? Why do the stars glow above? Don't they know it's the end of the world? It ended when I lost your love. I wake up in the morning and I wonder why everything's the same as it was. I can't understand, no I don't understand, why life goes on the way it does. Why does my heart go on beating? Why do these eyes of mine cry? Don't they know it's the end? of the world, it ended when you said goodbye.
Yeah.